My neighbors got their shops with bandsaw and the bearings on it are all squealy. Pulling the blade forward away from the lower thrust bearing stops the squeal, so we're pretty sure it's that. So this is the ball bearing and it spins very freely. Too freely in fact, because it's got no grease in it. I'll try to get some grease into it, but first I'll try to wash it off a bit. I'm using a little bit of paint thinner here. Well, I must have gotten quite a bit of grease off of it. Whoops. Now to get the paint thinner out of this again, I could just blow at it with a uh, blow gun like that, but I don't think that's optimal. So I made this jig seal off the hole, and then I can blow air in the back. Oh yeah. That just comes straight out. And let's rinse it again. Just to be on the thorough side, rinse that through. Man, that's getting loud. Whoops. Ah. Wow, that bearing's gotten loud. I guess I've got all the oil out of it. Got a grease gun here. Now how to pump the grease in there. I could use my other jig, but uh, I built a sucking jig using a shop vac to try to suck the grease through. And that doesn't spin like it used to, but uh, no noise. So I must have grease in there. I'll add some more. And now the grease is starting to come out the other side. There, that feels like a brand new ball bearing now. So let's put that bearing back in Reg's bandsaw. I'm pretty sure this bearing is now quiet, but there's another thrust bearing up here, and that's making lots of noise. Chop Smith bandsaws are weird. I just washed out the other thrust like bearings in this bandsaw, and this time I'm going to try to pump the grease through by putting that in here, and then this fits onto the grease pump. Oh, look at that grease coming through. Excellent. I'll just spin that a bit to make sure the grease gets spread around. Yeah, that's a lot quicker than the vacuum cleaner. And now the next one. Now with this bearing and these two bearings cleaned and re-greased, it runs quiet at last. No more squealing! But lots of shaking. And I'm sure some of you are wondering about this bandsaw. It's my neighbor Reg's bandsaw and it's kind of weird. The uh, tension is adjusted with this lever thing and there's a nut sort of thing on the screw. And an Allen key comes in from this side to adjust the tension. And whoever designed this bandsaw didn't know or didn't believe in crown pulleys because these are completely flat on top. So what it does is it just tracks backwards hard against the bearings and there's an extra thrust bearing up here to make sure it doesn't come off the back of the top wheel plus of course the normal bearings down here and here. And personally I think it runs a bit too fast but it's already at the slowest that the shopsmith can go. I think this procedure is worthwhile for oddball bearings that are easy to get at but if they're hard to get at like the ones in my table saw, I made a video about that a while ago, just get new ones. Ta-da! Well, this still turns easily, but 